Good evening viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune, you are watching Superfast 10, I am Monisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day. In an unusual incident, a police officer holding the rank of assistant sub-inspector has been sent to reserve clothes after he was arrested on Friday night for creating a ruckus in abbreviated state outside the government quarter of Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma in Guwahati. According to reports, the arrested police official has been identified as Shahidul Ali, who was posted on deputation from Kokrajhar district at the Chief Minister's official residence. In a major breakthrough, police on Friday caught hold of a huge consignment of cannabis weighing around 286 kg at Kashikotra in Chirang district. Based on specific information, a 12-wheeler truck was intercepted by the police following which the consignment was seized. It may be mentioned that the market value of the seized cannabis is worth several lakhs. Following the seizure, the police arrested the driver of the truck and a co-pilot as well. A speeding vehicle rammed into the railing of the newly inaugurated Shraddhanjali flyover and caused significant damage to the boundary where the structure depicting Assam's map was installed near the Zoo Road trisection. Two home guard who were on duty were injured in the accident and were rushed to the hospital for treatment. Meanwhile, the Gitanagar police reached the spot and arrested the driver of the car. As the investigation into the murder of a youth in Guwahati continues, the six accused in the case were produced before the Chief Judicial Magistrate Court on Saturday. The police custody of accused Saurabh Goenka, Arvind Roy and Govinda Kumar have been extended by five days while accused Gitashri Sinha, her sister Neha Sinha and her mother Jharna Sinha have been remanded to judicial custody. A peaceful day at Pengiri in Assam's Tinsukia district took a sudden and alarming turn when a group of children playing near a field stumbled upon an unexploded hand grenade. Alerted by the discovery, local adults quickly informed the authorities who arrived promptly to assess the situation. Security has also been beefed up in the region owing to the concerning discovery. As situation in violence hit Manipur gradually returns back to normal, so the state government on Friday extended relaxation of curfew timings in all areas in Imphal East and Imphal West districts from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. for Saturday against the usual timing of 7 p.m. Overcoming initial hiccups, including a monitoring anomaly, ISRO on Saturday successfully launched a test vehicle with payloads related to the country's ambitious human space flight program Gaganyaan. Gaganyaan program aims to send humans into space on a low Earth orbit for of 400 km for three days and bring them safely back to the Earth. Taking cognizance of the inhuman conditions involved in the practice of manual scavenging, the Supreme Court on Friday announced a slew of directives asking the central and state governments to eradicate manual scavenging completely across the country and compensate the keen of those who die while cleaning sewers adequately. The bench gave 14 directives to the central and state governments for the efficient implementation of the 2013 Prohibition of Employment as Manual Scavengers and their Rehabilitation Act. The officials of the Indian Embassy in Israel met a few community representatives and assured them of all possible assistance amid the ongoing war with Hamas. India is closely monitoring the situation in Israel and is also carrying out Operation Ajay to evacuate the Indian national from Israel as the situation continues to remain tense. Over 3,000 tons of humanitarian aid started entering Gaza as the Rafah border crossing between Egypt and Gaza opened on Saturday for the first time since the horrific attack on Israel by Hamas. More than 200 trucks carrying roughly 3,000 tons of aid which had been positioned near the crossing for days began heading into Gaza. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Like, share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube and Telegram. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed.